very much agree with what the Honourable Gentleman says, and may I thank him for his, his comments. And I know we are often criticised for uh, speaking endlessly about trade and other opportunities, um, and you know, clearly in relation to Hong Kong, this was very much a, a mercantile um, base for the for the UK uh, from the 1840s onwards. Um, but we don't in any way take lightly the importance that also has to be uh, addressed towards human rights, particularly for those who are living within Hong Kong. Um, you know, we've made it very clear um, that we do feel that actually for Hong Kong to fulfil its potential, and indeed for China to fulfil its potential in areas such as the Belt and Road, it's very clear that having the independence, indeed there are set, the, the sense of a common law system, a British legal system is seen as more reliable for many investors than perhaps going to the rather more doubtful systems or at least uh, less orthodox systems uh, within Shanghai or elsewhere. And I think the interesting fact was that uh, whilst Pudong and Shanghai is a very important financial centre for, Hong Kong, uh, for, for, for China um, and does a lot of work obviously in relation to domestic work, uh, th there is still a sense of confidence uh, that uh, Hong Kong enjoys for much international capital markets work. I think in terms of the specifics in a post-Brexit world of free trade agreements, clearly Hong Kong would be something that would be towards the top of the list given the, the strength of the relationship we have. And I think we have made it very clear to China. We feel that one of the reasons we want to see one country, two systems um, uh, be, uh, be, be properly promoted is that we think it's very much in the interests of, of China's own plans for for its own um, uh, economic development in the, in the years to come. Um, but may I thank the Honourable Gentleman for, for, for what he's had to say, but I would not wish, uh, by his focus on that, this particular issue, that, that we should not deny that, obviously, the issues of human rights will remain extremely important and will continue to be so as far as our own uh, commitment to one country, two systems is concerned. Sienna Bruce. Yes, it is